is it visible yes sir visible sir okay. so in this lecture i want to teach the tutorials on adc analog to digital converter the basic block diagram of the analog to digital converter and the successive approximation type adc so this is the building block of the analog to digital converters the analog inputs are here analog inputs are here and this is the vr vr is the reference voltage by which we can compare the analog input with this vr if this analog input is greater than the vr then the digital output will be one otherwise it will be zero so an ad converter is a very important building block and has the numerous applications it forms an essential interface when it comes to analyze analog data with a digital computers it is an indispensable part of any digital communication system i already told you in the first lecture of the digital uh, electronics that why we will use the adc and dac because it is mainly used in the digital communication systems it is used in the exchange okay so the analog input or the analog signal is to be transmitted is digitized at the sending end with the help of an ad converter it is invariably used in all digital readout test and measuring instruments because the output should be the digital one in the digital readout test or measuring equipments be it a digital voltmeter or a laser power meter or for that matter even a ph meter also digital ph meter an ad converter is the heart of all of them an ad converter takes at its input an analog voltage and after a certain amount of time produces digital output code representing the analog input with respect to this reference voltage i will come in details in the next slide the ad conversion process is generally more complex than the da conversion process so suppose this is the vr the reference voltage if the input va is in the range of va less than vr or the va greater than vr then what happens the output is the binary number corresponding to the integer of k suppose this is the k is equal to 1 this is the first clock okay and if this is v1 is less than the reference voltage the input in, in input voltage is greater than this vr then the first lsb will be one this is the vr first vr and the first analog input will come then compare with this vr if the amplitude of the analog input signal is greater than this reference voltage then the first lsb will be one okay if not then it's as it is so this is the basic principle for example for va is equal to va dot the output is 100 we may think of each voltage interval as a bin this is very important every voltage interval this is vr1 to vr2 so there is a interval this is called the bin from 0 to vr1 this is also a bin so if there is a seven numbers 0 um, to 7 so then the three bit number so to, to the power of 3 that means the eight states are there but the bin should be to, to the power of n minus 1 that means seven so 1 
sorry 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 8 is the maximum so total number of eight number of steps are there but v r should be 1 2 7 8 because we compare step by step or compare with respect to the clock in every clock cycle there is an input analog input and the amplitude of the input should be compared with the reference voltage okay so then if we come to the um, uh, example then it will be very clear suppose this is a basic idea behind the adc what is now generate the reference voltage as br1 br2 as shown in the figure br1 br2 br3 br4 to br7 for the 3 bit adc for n bit adc it should be 2 to the power of n minus 1 okay so then first generate the reference voltage br1 br2 etc then compare with the input va with each of the vri or the vrk to figure out which bin it belongs to okay if va belongs to bin k that means this is the bin okay so bin k that means the zero eighth bin so if the va belongs to bin k convert k to the binary format tar mane if this is vr 0 to vr 1 if k is equal to 0 vr 0 to vr 1 in between the va lies down then the zero should be converted at the binary format so that means here if it is 0 to 1 yeah bolo if this is belongs to the 0 to 1 then the zero k is equal to zero so k is equal to zero to k plus 1 vr k plus 1 so vr 0 to vr 1 if the va lies down between the v0 to vr1 then it the zero will be converted to the digital binary form similarly for vr1 to vr2 k is equal to 1 k plus 1 is equal to 2 so if the va lies down in between vr1 to vr2 that means vr k to vr k plus 1 this is the k plus 1 k plus 1 and this is the k if k is equal to 1 then k plus 1 is equal to 2 so if the va lies down between vr1 to vr2 that means k is equal to 1 to k is equal k is equal to 1 then this one will be converted to the digital binary form clear so the condition is condition is if the va lies down between this voltage range then this k will be converted in binary format if this is zero then the zero will be formatted to the binary format if it is one then it will be converted to the one so in this analog to digital converter we will learn four types of analog to digital converter first is successive approximation type adc second is flash type adc third is counter type adc and fourth one is the very important one that is dual slow adc so in adc and dc you should learn the total six types of adc and dc two types of dc weighted and actual ladder and four types of adc that is successive approximation flash type adc counter type adc and dual slow today we will learn the successive approximation type adc the successive approximation type adc the conversion time is maintained 
conversion time means from analog to digital conversion time this is called the conversion time the conversion time is maintained constant in the successive appro approximation time adc and it is proportional to the number of bits in the digital output how many number of bits are there unlike the counter and the flash drive adc the basic principle of this adc is that the unknown analog input voltage that is called va is approximated against an n bit digital value by trying one bit at a time beginning with the msb so only deal with the msb part the principle of the successive approximation process for a four bit conversion is shown in the figure i will describe how it will be made okay so first step this type of adc operates by successive dividing the voltage range by half as explained in the following steps first step is the msb is initially set to 1 first this is 0 then it will be initiated as the msb should be 1 so first step is from 0 0 0 here we will take the four bit successive approximation adc so if there is a n bit then first step is put the msb as 1 and the remaining bits set as 0 okay second step but before uh, coming to the second step the digital equivalent voltage is compared with the unknown analog input voltage as i told in the previous slide you know, all always it should be compared with the reference voltage va vr so va should be compared with the reference voltage in every clock cycle or clock pulse so here there is a four number of clock pulses are there one step two step three step and the fourth step so first clock pulse the msb bit should be one then compare with the analog input voltage and the reference input voltage if the analog input voltage greater than the reference input reference voltage please listen carefully if the input analog voltage is greater than the reference voltage then the next msb should be one next msb should be one next msb means this this so this should be one if it is less than then interchange in between last two msb sir repeat korben na dakbar if the input voltage is greater than the v reference voltage in the second clock pulse then what happens the next msb next msb of the previous b previous uh, digital in output that is 1000 so in this 1000 the next msb should be one next msb means after one so this should be one like this if it is less than the reference voltage then interchange in between two msb last two msb last two msb is one and zero so interchange in between two this so that means zero should be here one should be here so zero and one and other lsb remain constant remain unchanged clear i repeat again if the input voltage this is the only tricks if the input voltage is greater than the reference voltage then the next msb should be one otherwise that means if less than then 
interchange in between last two MSB. So last two MSB means this. Again, suppose this third clock pulse. This is the first clock pulse. This is the second clock pulse. This is the third clock pulse. In the third clock pulse, what happens? No, this is the this is the first clock pulse. This is the second clock pulse. So in the second clock pulse, what happens? Again, compare with this. So this will be the reference voltage for the this clock pulse. So this will be the reference voltage. So if the input voltage is greater than this, then the next MSB, that means the second bit, this MSB should be one. Otherwise, interchange in between last two MSB. So last two MSB means this one zero. So then what happens? One zero. One zero, one zero, one zero. So in general, if I look to, into the steps, first step is the MSB bit is initially set to one, with the remaining three bits set to zero. The digital equivalent voltage is compared with the unknown analog input voltage. If the analog input voltage is higher than the digital equivalent voltage, the MSB bit is retained as one, and the second MSB is set to one. This retained as one, second MSB is set to one. Okay. Otherwise, the MSB bit is set to zero. And the second MSB bit is set to one. That means that's interchange. Okay. So if we come to the step by step, then what happens? This is the block diagram of the successive approximation type ADC. This is the successive approximation resistor. This is the digital to analog converter. This is the clock pulse. This is the End of the um, um, count, and this is the start of the count. SOC means start of the count, and EOC means end of the count. That means how many bits are there? Okay. Suppose this is a three bit or four bit. So if it is four bit, then total number of counts should be two to the power of four minus one, zero to. Two to the power of four minus one. That means zero to fifteen should be count. When the starts count, it starts count from the zero. And end of the count, when it will reach to the fifteen, then my total operation will be done. So then we should put the end of the count. So first, the SOC should be one. At last, the EOC should be one. So let us assume that the four bit ADC is used, and the analog input voltage is VA. This is the analog input voltage. When the conversion starts, this is the starts of the conversion. Start when the conversion starts, the MSB bit is set to one. That means SOC one or the counts start one. So then, SOC one, then the operation should be start, should be started. So now the VA is greater than VD. Suppose VD means one zero zero zero. As as per my step one, the first MSB bit should be one. Others bit should be zero. So first step is from zero 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 to one zero zero zero. Then the VA applied VA is greater than the VD. This is the reference voltage, V reference. Okay. So since the unknown analog input voltage VA is higher than the equivalent digital voltage VD, as discussed in the step two, the MSB bit is retained as one, 
and the next MSB bit is set to one. So next MSB bit is set to one. First MSB bit is written to one. Then second MSB is set to one. When the BA is greater than BR or here BD. So if it is less than, if this BA, if this BA is less than BD, then what happens? Then the comparator com, uh, comparator result should be zero. Okay. So since the unknown analog input voltage BA is lesser than the equivalent digital voltage BD, as discussed in the step two, the MSB bit is set to zero. Why? 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 Because of the comparator output is zero. Because this BA is less than BD. So the comparator output is zero. So if it is zero, then the MSB bit should be zero and the next MSB should be one. That means the MSB bit is set to zero and the second MSB bit is set to one or as simple as just reverse of the two MSB. So that means this should be zero and the second MSB should be one. Okay. Now come to the second step. Second clock pulse. When VA is greater than, now this is the reference voltage. At the first clock pulse, this is the reference voltage. Now in the second clock pulse, this is the reference voltage. And this is the reference voltage. When the VA is greater than this reference voltage, then what happens? The next MSB should be one. And if it is less than one, then the this MSB, this MSB, because in the first clock pulse, the first MSB operation is over. Please keep in mind. For the first clock pulse or the first step, the first MSB operation is over. So it should be contact as same or remains as same. So here this is remains as same. Here, this is remains is same. Now apply the steps. If it is greater than, if the input voltage is greater than this reference voltage, that means 12, greater than 12, then what happens? The next MSB should be one. So next MSB should be one. Otherwise, this MSB should be zero. So this MSB should be zero and the next MSB should be one. So just interchange, just interchange or in between these two. So this is zero and one. Similarly, for this reference voltage, if the input voltage is greater than four, greater than four, this is the four. If it is greater than four, so then what happens? Now this MSB should be intact and the next MSB should be one. So here, this MSB should be intact. Next MSB should be one. Otherwise, or the less than, the uh, input voltage is less than the reference voltage. Then what happens? This one should be one. And this one should be zero. Sorry. So this one, this one, that means these two bits should be interchanged. Zero and one. So zero, zero, one, zero. Zero, zero, one, zero. If greater than, then the next MSB should be one. Otherwise, the next MSB should be zero and the previous MSB, uh, previous MSB should be zero, next MSB should be one. Previous MSB should be zero, next MSB should be one. Clear? So now if we go to the next step, 
go to the next step then what happens this is should be the reference voltage this should be the reference voltage this should be the reference voltage and this should be the reference voltage now compare if the input voltage is greater than 14 then what happens this one this zero should be one so that is 1 1 okay if no then interchange in between these two or this should be zero this should be one this should be zero this should be one so that is so then this is then this is so this one should be zero this zero should be one as per the step 2 similarly for this if it is greater than then what happens this msb should be one so that means 1011 and if no if no then what happens this msb should be zero this msb should be one so this is so this is 1001 for this this msb should be one this msb should be one if no then this msb should be zero and this msb should be one so 0101 0101 0101 here also if it is greater than then this msb should be one then 0011 if not then this should be zero this should be one so that means 0001 now for the fourth clock pulse this is a four bit so fourth clock pulse should become so then for the fourth operation fourth operation means for this there is no other msb so it should be keep equal or remain con same for the greater than voltage input voltage of the reference voltage so if the input voltage is greater than the 15 then it should be the 15 because this is a four bit so 0 to 15 should be calculated so that is if this is greater than this then we will get the 15 if less then the next msb should be zero so this should be zero so then we will get this for this if it is greater than of this the msb bit is already one so it should be keep remain unchanged so it should be keep remain unchanged if less than then this msb should be zero so we will get like this 1100 if this if the input voltage is greater than this as the msb bit is 1 so it should be keep in unchanged so here if it is less then this msb should be zero then we will get this for this also as similar as then we will get total number of 16 number of digital value 0 to 15 okay so this type of adc consist of a successive approximation register dac and the comparator the output sr is given to the nb dc the output of the sr these are the approximations come to the dc then the dc will convert the analog output as the v reference as the b reference so then the b reference will compare with the input analog signal depending upon the comparison this comparator output should be produced as 1 or 0 so when it is 1 then msb should be 1 if it is 0 then the msb previous msb should be 0 or interchange in between last two msb this is the basic principle 
so the equivalent analog output voltage of the dac vd is applied to the non inverting input to the comparator the second input of the comparator is the unknown analog input voltage va the output of the comparator is used to activate the successive approximation or sar when the start command is applied the soc is applied the sar set to the msb bit is 1 by applying the soc and the other bits are made logic 0 so that the trial code becomes 1000 the eoc signal is sent out when all the bits are scanned and the value of the dac output just crosses the ba okay that means 16 if it is 15 then up to 15 the soc will be as 1 when we will get the 15 1111 then we should produce the eoc end of the comparison the advantage of this Uh, successive approximation time that is the conversion time is very small the conversion time is constant and independent of the amplitude of the analog input the disadvantage is the circuit is complex here we use the successive approximation register uh, if you already learned the register or not i don't know so if there is a shift register is used here so the conversion time is more compared to the flash type of adc the application share the microprocessor based data acquisition system use this type of uh, dsc a eh, sorry adc analog to digital converter in adc 0809 this is the ic chip use the concept of the successive approximation which is used in the microprocessor so now come to two types of problems sir hello sir ha bolo bujhna eta successive approximation kena bola hoy approximation kotha ta deya hoyeche kan yeah very good question suppose your analog input voltage is greater than 12 that means it may be 13 it may be 14 it may be 15 clear yes, so you cannot consider or you cannot get the appropriate amplitude value throughout this output of the adc this type of adc for this reason we approximate when it will get up than the 12 then it should be maybe 14 or maybe 10 clear yes the suppose, suppose the input is 13 volt so you should get the 13 na but you yes, cannot sir. in the second step of the clock pulses you cannot until and unless the total steps will not be completed then you cannot get the total number of values so for this reason you should consider the approximation approximation means it may be 14 it may be 10 here it may be 15 it may be this is what is the value 13 sir 14 uh, no 13 and 13 sir 13 i cannot get the 14 okay so it may be 15 it may be 13 but you cannot get the 14 so there is some approximation is there so if it is greater than then you will get the greater value if it is less than then you will get the lesser value so for this reason this is approximation 
after completing the four bit, if it is a four bit number of DAC, ADC, after completing the fourth clock pulse, you will get all the data. But before the step, suppose you want to get in a single step, you cannot get the actual data. For this reason, this is approximate. Okay. And it is successively done throughout the fourth step. For this reason, it is called successive approximation. Because this step will come from the before step. And this step will come from the previous step. And this step will come from the previous step. So for this, for this reason, the successive manner, you will get the final output. So for this reason, it is called successive approximation. And when you will learn the SIP registers, then it will be very clear how the data will be converted from one bit to another bit or shifted from the one bit to another bit. Okay. So this is the total num uh, lecture of the successive approximation. Now I come two types of problems which are in the gate. That is the conversion time. For the successive approximation, the formula of the conversion time is simply n into t, where n is the number of bits, how many bits used in the in this type of ADC, and t is the clock period. What is the clock period of the clock pulses? So the conversion time is very simple, that is n t. It should be remembered. So now if I come to the problem, that is an 8-bit successive approximation, ADC, has a full-scale reading of 2.55 volt, and its conversion time for an analog input is 1 volt. So analog input is 1 volt. So VA is 1 volt. N is 8-bit. Okay? And the clock pulse, no, this is the conversion time is 20 microsecond. So input voltage is 1 volt. When the conversion time is 20 microsecond, now you should calculate the conversion time for the 2 volt input. This is the very tricky question of the gate. We know that the conversion time is independent of the input voltage. Is there any form of the VA? No. So, what is the input voltage with respect to the irrespective of the input voltage, we can calculate the conversion time. Irrespective of the input voltage because the conversion time is not depends upon the input voltages. So, for this reason, the output or the conversion time should be the same. So this is the 20 microsecond. Due to there is no term of the input voltage in the conversion time expression. Now come to the second type of problem. An 8-bit successive approximation ADC is operating with the 10 megahertz clock pulses or clock frequency. That means F is equal to 10 megahertz. N is equal to 8 bit. What is the conversion time? Now N into T. T is equal to 1 by F. T is equal to 1 by F. So 10 megahertz clock pulse. So that means 8 into 1 by 10 into 10 to the power 6 second. So that's equal to 8 into 0 0.1 into 10 to the power minus 6 second. So that's equal to 0 0.8 microsecond.
okay so these two types of problems uh, may be uh, come into the gate exams of the successive approaching assignment type edition 